My name is Raj Handel and I am the owner of Venice Hybrid Tech. So we are making this uh, series of videos on how to connect a great charger to various hybrid batteries. Uh, this is the third in that series and uh, today I am going to uh, talk about how to connect a grid charger to a, a Toyota Camry Hybrid. So with that let's proceed. So I will first show you the connections outside and then I will go inside the car and show you how to make the connection while the battery is inside. You don't have to remove the battery, but since I had the battery outside, I thought I'll show you outside so you can see it better. Okay, so with that said, let's proceed with the demonstration. Now, as you look at the battery, this battery is going to be right behind the back seat. This is the left side and this is the right side. And on the other side here, back side, is the trunk of the car. So when you look at the battery inside the car, you're going to lower the back two seats and you're going to see this part of the battery visible to you. So basically, you have to remove this cover and another cover here at the back. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven nuts for this cover to be removed. And then there are three nuts here at the back that you have to remove to remove this cover. Now, to remove this cover is a little bit tedious because there is not enough gap here. So you have to make a use of something like a small ratchet and then open it. So for the sake of this demonstration, I've already removed the nuts and I'm just going to remove the covers to show you and show you how to make the connection. So you remove this small cover first and then you will remove this cover. Now you see inside, these are the two orange wires which are which we have to connect the grid charger to. So this side towards you is the positive and it has a red tape here. So that's the positive and behind here is the negative. And it doesn't have a black tape but if this is positive then this is negative. It's also written here on the junction box positive and negative so then when you order the grid charger you're going to get a wire harness along with the grid charger and the wire harness instead of having a ring terminal it has two probes of copper so these probes have to be put on the side of these two connected. So the positive will go in the positive and the negative will go in the negative like this. Now <coughs> these connections are a little tricky because sometimes these probes are not put in properly and they don't make good connection and therefore before you close everything you need to tie these wires but before you do that you need to check whether the connections are okay or not and how you're going to check that is you bring the grid charger This is a grid charger, put it here and then you connect 
the two pin connector to the two pin connector on the grid charger like this and then plug in the 9 volt battery okay now you have to put the safety plug in so now you see I'm not getting any reading if the connections are okay I will get a reading here but I'm not getting any reading because the connections are not okay so I'm going to fiddle with them till I get a reading uh, hi everyone so now you see it inside the car so here's the hybrid battery and you're going to lower the, the back seat and there's a black cover here it has got three clips you're going to remove those and you're going to see the battery as it is now so now you have to remove this cover and this cover here at the back but to remove this you'll also have to open this little part here one nut here and another bolt here once you remove these two then i told you all those 11 nuts and the three at the back and once you remove all that you'll be able to see the parts inside and then as i showed you in the uh, first part you're going to make the connections and bring the wire hardness <clears throat> this side and take it to the back into the trunk and leave it there but before you do that you need to make sure that your connections are okay you're going to check it with the grid charger see that you get the reading you'll have to put the safety plug in to see that you're getting the reading of about 270 or 275 volts and once you get that reading that means your connections are okay and you can close everything so that's what i wanted to show you inside the car thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions put them in the comments below like our videos and subscribe to our channel thank you very much